Welcome back to another episode of Let's Plant. Before we begin, a few words. First of which, how do you like my pants? And the second thing is, as you know, I publish Let's Plant at Monday morning my time, which means it's about Sunday night over in the U United States. I'm thinking of shifting the schedule one day later. That means I'll be publishing at Tuesday morning my time, and that would be Monday evening, the other side of the world. Now, the reason behind this is that I only tend to be able to do the editing and much of the work during the weekend. And I find that Monday evening I tend to cram, scramble a lot and it's starting to get really hard to meet to beat my Monday deadline mainly because our weather here down in Australia is getting much more crazy. Over the weekend we had lots of rain so I was not able to do much filming. I had a lot of time wasted that way. So I'm thinking by shifting it one day later I would be able to relax on Sunday because Sunday is a family day and we are usually out. We have lunch outside. That way I won't have to stress much about the video. And lastly, I'd like to say what's up to Shani the Greatest. Belated happy birthday man. His birthday was the 7th of May. So I hope you had a good one. Now let's start. The Graptoviria Douglas Hoth in this section, this ones, they are overwhelming the other plants here, especially with all of the clumps that they're forming. And these ones are rather prone to rot, to fungal rot during winter. So what I'm going to do is to remove all of the pups underneath. That way there would be a lot of airflow. And besides, they're so big now, it's about time I got rid of them. I think it would be good if I replace them with the smaller ones. You know what? I think of using something else this time. Maybe I should remove all of the Douglas Hunt and either replace it with a smaller rosette or maybe some jelly beans. Since I don't know what I want to do with them yet, I'm just going to plant them in my overflow area right at the back.
these are some of the extra Echeveria Imbricata cuttings which I got which was supposed to go into an order but they could not fit the satchel so they had to be left out so in this case I'm going to plant them in the ground just so they don't die The entire family, especially my wife, has been suffering from cabin fever. We haven't been out for quite a while now, let alone the movies. And to our delight, we found out that we have a local cinema that allows families with young children to come in. And it's a special purpose cinema for kids. We were feeling left out, not being able to watch the Avengers. So we decided to take advantage of this opportunity.
in many of the past episodes, I've been plucking some leaves from most of my plants, especially the flower stalks. I've been leaving them here for quite a while now. Some of them have started rooting. I think it's about time that I go through them, sort out, and pick the ones that have already sprouted, and maybe place them in soil. So, let me go find them. I think that's it. I was hoping to do a bit of gardening today. It's been raining since this morning. It will likely continue for the rest of the day. I guess I'll have to wait until tomorrow. But why wait? Still raining! Damn it! As you can see, there's a few products in my front yard. This is an oversized Sahara. It looks brown right now with all the mud, but it should be about brown or orangish. Behind me is uh, some oasis, I think. It's a natural look of pebbles, the light colors, not much grace in there. And over there, that's more mulch for our playground. Now, as you can imagine, I've got a big day, a big weekend ahead of me. I need to shovel all of this and put them at the back. Because otherwise, I could not use my driveway. So I better get cracking. Huge thanks to Soilworks for providing me with all of these rocks. And I can't wait to start using them. But for now, back breaking work. Now the sun finally decides to come out.
it's raining again. started raining again. for now, that way they would be portable rather than just putting them in one stand and I might not be able to move them around, you know? skies are clearing though. I'm starting to see blue. Alright, back to work.
do you think, Zach? I'm so tired. <laughs> but yes, we still have lots of stones. Lots of stones. But we'll have to rest now. Let's continue tomorrow. Okay? Continuing this tomorrow. Zach, say bye. Bye! <laughs> It's dark. It's dark already. Okay, let's go home. Go home. Okay. I finally had a look at the votes last night and I think it's not a surprise you could clearly see the favor and the top two choices are number one black opal and number two bittersweet so both are freely and yeah I think I'm all right with the choices because I love freelies So here's the two winners. I've been thinking about the placement. I, I only have two choices anyway. So it's either the black opal goes there or the black opal goes here and vice versa. After giving it some thought, I'm thinking that the black opal might be better here at the back and the bittersweet somewhere here. Mainly because the plants at the back are darker and the lighter plants tend to be at the front. I think that goes well with the theme. I think we've waited long enough. So let's get right to planting. Remember that we're heading to winter so I'm going to plant it at a slight angle and I'm going to mound it make it a bit higher compared to the sedums this way there's airflow around it and it would be at less risk of rot I think this is good now I like the placement it's got enough space around it so now I'm putting I'm going to put back the sedums can see there's lots of space around it which is good because this can be quite large and I like the placement so far because there's uh, there's a just there's just a sea of green around it and it greatly contrasts with the color of the bittersweet this way it looks it pops out a bit more and I know that the bittersweet can go quite large but I think I could get a good year or two before it outgrows the area so I'm going to leave it here before then and by the time that it gets too large, then I only need to replace it with something else. But until then, I'm happy with the bittersweet here right now. And I hope it does well. I'll be watching it over the next few months. Alright, up next is this spot for the black opal. I might remove the sedum adolfi first before I plant it in. And I'll see if I should plant them back or if I could use them in another place. So let's begin. I think 
I might add or maybe shift this ones around place them here because I think this makes a good continuation to the lime sedums so yeah I might just do that have to remove this one at some point but I'll just wait until the black opal grows even more so I'm going to leave this as is I'd like to thank my sponsor Soilworks for making this possible. There's still a lot of shoveling ahead of me and I'm guessing that I'll be doing this. I'll be shoveling them over the course of the next week or so. Just doing it after work because I'm doing this all by myself. So this is definitely going to be slow. So far I've moved most of the mulch. As you can see there's a few left here and I'm planning to work on this side. Start from the outer no, the inner side that way I could park my car inside again hopefully I get to clear all the way until here but we'll see this is going to be a slow job <laughs> on that note I'd also like to thank my patreon supporters that's you Oscarino, Snap Kui, Camille Narvaez, Gloria Ninotti and Linda as well as everyone else on patreon thank you so much for your support I'd also like to thank the Dub Rose who sent me a donation over PayPal. Thank you so much. That was so kind of you to do. I'm going to finish working on the mulch today. I'll just shift them back towards the, the playground. And by doing that, I'll be making enough space at the back. And that would probably help me shift some of the rocks out. That way, I can make space in the driveway for the car to go through. It looks like I have a big day ahead of me, but I have no choice. I have to get to it. Lastly, with all of the cuttings that I made in the previous episodes, I think it's about time I continue filling up these gaps. So I'll go get my chopsticks.
and shoveling.